Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. In today's video I'm going to show you how to tame easily the most annoying creature in all of Ark. That is this handsome lad right here, the Cryolophosaurus from the Ark Editions mod. As with all my other videos I'm going to be using two mods to help in the taming process. First one will be the awesome Spyglass and the second one is going to be Creature Finder Deluxe. Let's go over the gear we need to tame one of these guys before we head out. First thing is the exceptional kibble, that's what we're going to be feeding it. You'll also need a weapon. I prefer the pump action shotgun, but you could also use the fab sniper rifle. Whichever one you use, make sure you've got plenty of ammo for it. I would, however, recommend not having a higher leveled uh, gun, just a basic primitive one or in my case a apprentice uh, should be fine because you don't want to deal too much damage to it. The Cryolophosaurus can be found in snow biomes typically picking a fight with every other living thing in the vicinity. This is quite bad for them because they are very spongy and oftentimes end up getting killed so if you see one that you like I would recommend taking a flyer in there to get it out of there before it gets killed. I'm going to go ahead and grab this one real quick and get it. So I've flown a cryo down here to my old base where I have a trap set up just for them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run up to it, get it to aggro me, and it should start spraying me with a frost breath attack. While it's doing that, I need to shoot into its mouth to freeze it. While it's frozen, I can then feed it with the exceptional kibble. So before you get started, make sure your exceptional kibble is in the hot bar. Also make sure you have a bed nearby because they can kill you pretty easily and you will be very close. Uh, so they will be attacking you through the uh, doorways that the trap is made out of. So let's get this started. Uh, there is a lot of ways that they can glitch out. So it may or may not work. Sometimes they'll just start fleeing when they're in a trap. I like what it's doing now. So you'll see it says it doesn't want to be fed right now or tamed right now. So and it looks like it's fleeing. So you can try a couple of different things to try and get it to aggro, but it may or may not work. Okay. So if this happens, which it most likely will, at least once. Just get on your flyer, fly over, pick it up, and drop it out of the trap. The reason I like using this old base is because I basically have two walls to kind of keep it contained, but you don't necessarily need that. Just make sure you have an area that's conditioned well without monsters or creatures for it to attack. So you see it's coming back now, so I think it's tired of running and it wants to fight again. So. Yep. So it just shot me with another one of its attacks. It's poisonous ball of freezing liquid or whatever. There we go. Okay, so if you see him attacking the the trap like that, that's a good sign. That means they're aggroed. So here we go. By the way, the closer the better. So Do the thing. And I missed it. Oh, I got it. Okay, that was weird. So sometimes the they will not actually freeze. But yes, yeah, you can see that it gave me the option. So um some of the attacks did not hit it in its mouth and did a lot of damage so as you can see it's kinda low on health now and it doesn't want to attack again okay so what you can do to keep them alive and another reason I like this area 
is go and get them some food. So I have some Ovis hanging out over here. That I'm going to grab. There they are. And this way you'll keep from killing them. And if you notice right there how it's kind of walking funny, uh, that's its uh, basically the stance it goes into when it sprays frost breath. So another glitch that I've seen with these guys is they'll they'll just get stuck in that stance. And once again, if that happens, just pick them up and drop them out. So I'm gonna let him kill the Ovis so that he, it, or she let her kill the Ovis so that she can get her health back. Perfect. Let's see if I missed. Ah, I missed. Still attacking the trap. So you can build the trap larger if you want to make it easier to drop them in, but it's not necessary. You better... okay. I was about to say, if it did not get in there, I was going to get mad. Alright. Let's see if it'll aggro. Come on. Nope. Alright. Pick it up and take it out again. So this is why I say this is the most annoying tame in the entire game. Because there is so much that can go wrong. Uh, their AI is just not great, unfortunately. It's a really cool creature, especially once you get it tamed up. But the taming process is painful. She's in. Let's see if we can get another one. There we go. So as you can see, uh, when I hit it in the mouth area, it did very little damage. That's what you want. It can be very difficult when your vision is obscured by the frost cloud. But there we go. And it will freeze you like that, and sometimes it forces you into third person, which is annoying, but just another thing to love about the cryo. So this is actually going really well so far. I know it might not seem like it, but these things can go so much worse. And it's lost aggro again. Let's do this. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So this time, I'm going to stay away because she got me with that poison ball. So I may very well lose consciousness here. Uh, maybe not. Nope. Actually, I'm good. Okay. There. That was a close one. I didn't think I'd get that one. So it should be one more. I'm going to go ahead and drop it out. Just let it finish eating that other Ovis so that it can get its health back. Because it looks like it doesn't want to play anymore anyway. Here. Eat it! on. Don't you go out that way. Eh, 
Eh, wants to go back in the trap. Come on. Oh my lord. Ovis. There it goes. Okay, perfect. Can't reach it. Does it have all of its health? Most of it. It should be good enough. Alright, let's make this count. Almost hit me with that, bud. Pretty rude. There we go. That thing did not want me to feed it. So my other one is named Pain in the Ass, so this one is going to be named... Hate You, because I hate you. I know that that uh, was not the smoothest, but these guys never are. Honestly, this was one of the smoother ones that I've ever done. There's just so many things that can go wrong, as you as you saw. Um, they're pretty glitchy and buggy. A um, couple of points to note, though, to make your life a little easier when you go to tame one. Uh, distance seems to matter, so the closer you get to them, um, the easier it is to freeze them for one and two it seems that it's harder for them to freeze you if you're like right up there at the base of their mouth basically um, I know it can be kind of difficult to get into that position because as you see they start moving around even when they're spraying their breath so it can be difficult to kind of get into a good position in order to shoot uh, like I said this area is really nice because I have basically two lines of defense and so I'm able to pick it up drop it out of there and then it's still in a controlled environment and then I can just sit down the wyvern and wait for it to aggro us again then pick it up and drop it back in uh, also there's Ovis that spawn out here on the Ragnarok map so that's a very easy animal for them to kill and eat um, I wouldn't recommend dropping like a triceratops or something because they're gonna fight back and you might end up losing the cryo in the process so try to find something like a dodo or a I've even used the uh, Equus um, but just something that won't really put up a fight so that it's an easy meal for them and you can keep them alive they are very spongy as you can see so it is it's really easy to kill them if you are missing your shots and hitting their body anyway that's about that. Took about three years off my life doing this again, but we're going to take them back to base. And I'll show you all the awesome things they can do. Because, believe it or not, they're actually really awesome mounts. And if you can get through the taming process, it's a lot of fun to ride. Alright, here we are. About to craft up a cryo saddle. So, you can unlock this at level 80 with 50 Ingram points and craft it right in your inventory like so so now that we finally tamed ourselves up a cryo and we've got a saddle for it we can take it out and show what it can do so as you notice I'm near water here and that is important for these guys because if you look down there on the left bottom left you'll see a little box that says cryo liquid um, that's how they are able to do their frost breath and their uh, poison spit. Uh, unlike, say, the Dilophosaurus, they don't have an infinite reserve of the liquid, so you will need to find water or snow in order to refill it. Now, let's see what it can do. So, the left click is a bite. And 
And by the way, in order to refill your liquid when you're standing in water or snow, you just hit the uh, right mouse button. Now, if you hit control, you'll go into the special stance. And then with a left click, you can use the frost breath. And if you notice, she kind of jumped up there. Uh, that's because she just got a buff. So whenever a cryo freezes something or knocks something out with its poison spit, it will get a buff that increases its movement speed and damage. Let's see here. So to do the spit, you don't need to be in the stance. All you need to do is press C. If you notice there, she uh, jumped up again because we knocked out the dodo. So, so we're gonna hit Control to go into our stance. Left click. Popsicle. If you uh, look in the little box of the stego, you also see that the torpor's going up. These guys are very good for taming creatures as well. You can use the uh, spit attack or just bite them. So let's. So there's one. It also slows their movement speed. Two. They also have a pretty decent jump, so that's kind of nice. And it's even better when they have the buff active. So, uh, these guys are very versatile. They can do so many things. Um, whoops. The one thing you want to be aware of, though, is that they are pretty spongy. They don't have a lot of health, so I would recommend putting quite a few points into health in order to keep them alive. I hope that after watching this video you can now go out and tame your very own Cryolophosaurus. Definitely a frustrating tame, but very much worth it once you finally get one tamed up. Since I have a male and a female now, I'm going to start breeding with these guys. Um, if you found yourself enjoying my content, please give me a like and maybe a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. That's it for now. Love you, bye.